is the truth you gonna learn today what is happening youtube y'all know me e Lee, man shouts out to all the subscribers man uh i'm doing this video and it's a little late because i feel like this dude messaged me a while ago and it, it, he messaged me on steam and this is I, i'm doing a video on this because this has always been what i wanted to do which was people write into the channel asking for advice just on any type of topic you feel me on some Hodge twins type shit and this dude did and I'm gonna read it and understand this a lot of people want to keep their anonymity anonymity anonymous nature so like I said that shit wrong and this dude I would never throw you out there homie you, you messaged me on Steam and this is the same that I, I've done videos like this in the past and people have messaged me and I just busy or i went to the junk folder or i said i was going to do it and i never but i made sure to like screenshot this and put it on my desktop to like yo bro you need to do you need to say something to this shit and you need to do it you know what i'm saying to make sure i did it but uh i would never put somebody's all this shit is anonymous i would never put somebody out there like hey man such and such said this when you write into this shit it's it's you know sealed and confidential to the motherfucking channel but anyways I'm going to flash this on the screen. I'm going to read it. Um, here we go. Yo, Fooly. Been a fan since like 2014. And I popped back in here and there. I just finished watching that Karma Kim Midget story. It's hilarious and sad and whatever. <laughs> Yo, he's talking about Fooly the movie. You know what I'm saying? It's down. I put it in all my description. Is it hilarious? It is. Is it sad? It at, at the at the time of writing that shit, homie, I was mad as fuck. But now that this shit has has, has breathed, yeah, they some hoe ass niggas, especially midget, especially Carmen and midget, because them supposed to be your boys. You know what I'm saying? Kim, you know the hoes. I don't really hold them to any standard. You feel me? Meaning that their opinion can't get any lower. Uh, but you, when you with your boys, man, you you hold them in a different esteem and. Karma did the unthinkable, the unforgivable, and Midget is just, you know, bitch made. I would say pussy made, but I feel like bitch made is better. But anyways, if y'all wondering what happened, what he's talking about, the movie's down at the bottom. But anyways, let's get let's get back to the uh, actual message. I was just hop, hope hopping. I could get advice because I know you're a real one and all that. Because I'm not going to lie. I'm like Karma. And that I ain't got a job. I'm just gaming, but difference is I'm in high school and I got my grades up. Real quick, that's a big motherfucking difference, nigga. If you're in high school, that's acceptable. And when he's talking about karma, he's talking about this nigga is like 30 plus years old, no job in his adult life, sits at home and plays video games. Like, no. And try and wants to have a girlfriend, mind you. Thinks he should have a girlfriend in that situation. Bro, you're nowhere near karma. Don't even put yourself... It, it. You have to literally put forth effort to be that much of a whole-ass nigga. To the, to the point to where you would think your conscience was kicking in before that shit happened. But anyways, I digress. Homie, you're nowhere near that nigga. If you're in high school and you don't have a job, you know, you, you're just gaming, that's accepted. You know what I'm saying? You probably not too too far off of age than my son. My son is 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 13 now. You know what I'm saying? And he he at home gaming type shit. So please do not you like comparing yourself to a to the devil or some shit like that. That's how far off you are from that. Uh got my grades up. I don't be having friends. No females of of that. Yeah, I got a crush on a couple females, but yeah, I don't, I keep to myself. I don't like to know nobody and I keep everything to myself. I be living with some family. I mean, you're in high school, I would expect that, but stay away from them hoes, homie. You do, fool, and fully always, and I keep breaking, fully always uses himself as an example. 
I was like 19, 20 when I had my son. You feel me? Or, or, yeah. 21. I was in my early 20s. And that was still too young to be having kids. Do not get trapped by these hoes. Understand that your first time you're going to want to go raw into a bitch. That's understandable. But understand the consequences behind that. I would say now since I've had pussy galore that always use a rubber, but you do not want to get buckled down at your age because you're saying high school, so I'm thinking under 18, you do not want to get buckled down with a kid. I know that seems like counterintuitive, like damn, because you don't you don't know what you don't have, right? Meaning pussy. You know what? That that's probably every waking moment when you don't have it. I don't I don't I don't know that because I'll be on these bitches. But you know, I'm thinking at a younger age, because I lost my virginity when I was old. When I say old, I lost my virginity when I was like 18, when I had just left, because my mom and dad were, were. this is just, you know, TMI, but my mom and dad was, was, was pre, I was a preacher kid, and they had a strong motherfucking grip around my neck until I was like, like 16, 17-ish, when I got taller than my motherfucking daddy, because I'm like 6'1", and my dad was like 5'. Nine or some shit like that. When I got bigger and taller than my daddy, I was like, hey, nigga, hey, I'm gonna start slapping your ass around this motherfucker. Yo, when, I, when it got like that, it was like, it, it was different, and I was kind of slow footed because I couldn't, I'm, you know, this world was kind of thrust upon me as far as, oh shit, I can do what the fuck I wanna do. But these hoes, I'm telling you, you do not want a kid before the age of, I would say, 25 30 if you can help it because live your motherfucking life and i'm telling you especially now my hoes were different in 05 because we didn't have social media you know what i'm saying your hoes are different because they have social media so these hoes are a different breed they're even worse you do not want that man if you got a crush and she a good clean girl like you can actually look at her social media and she about that shit all right, cool. But nine times out of ten, she a hoe just like the rest of. Them. Oh, foolish! She's under eighteen. She a hoe in motherfucking training. God damn it! Some of these hoes, I'm telling you, I, I when I worked at a children's hospital, it was a bitch. She was 21 years old with five kids. Don't tell me these hoes don't be hoes before 18. 21 years old with five man. Anyway, let's get back to this because I'm getting. Don't get me started on these bitches. Uh, I was hoping you could give me a help. You could. You could help and guide a youngin on what he should do. I want a job and I want to go to college. And all them teachers talk about how I can definitely defo get in, but I got no help. I remember an old video where you were talking about you were a physical therapist or something. Respiratory therapist. But yeah, I get what you're saying. Like that, but I'm probably wrong. I remember it from years ago and stuff. Just a youngin who've been a fan since Borderland two days. Hey man, shouts out to you. Like I said, I ain't gonna throw your name out there. I ain't gonna try to embarrass you or anything. But to the to, to the video, homie, you have such a big opportunity. Number one, you don't need to go to college. Especially if you're, if you're somebody who games, meaning that you, you at some point have to be a little internet savvy. And, and I'm talking about most, Kids your age are probably know more about internet and getting into things better than adults. So you you would have the upper hand on what I'm about to tell you. And homie, you don't need to go to college. Fuck college. You know what I'm saying? That's just a, a white sheet of paper from some white motherfuckers who want to put you in debt. Reason I say that is because Google is a wonderful place. I always tell people when they're looking for a job, be an essential worker. What do I mean by that? COVID has taught people anything is to pick a career that is that you know you can do at the job or at home, but pick a career that can sustain you through an epidemic. You feel me? Or a pandemic? I said epidemic. A pandemic. You you understand? Meaning, especially for fully, homie. Let me tell you something. I was a respiratory therapist, medical field, and during this COVID time. There was a hospital. I'm not even gonna say the hospital because then it, it, it was out of state, but close. You know, I stay in Dallas, Texas. It was close to Texas, but anyways, they put out a, a, a call, a email, 
and sometimes I'll get like contract work as a respiratory therapist, meaning that I'll, I'll go work in a hospital. Motherfucker, they were paying me ten thousand dollars just to clock in, meaning I get there, I badge in to the hospital, ten k on top of time and a half as a essential worker. Homie, listen to me. When I tell you I killed, no pun intended, during COVID season, nigga, 10K per shift. That's how bad it got. And normally, because I have a license with the state of Texas, right? You have to have a license to practice respiratory in other states. They didn't give a fuck about that. That's also why I'm not going to say the hospital, because I don't want to get them in trouble or anything. They ain't give a fuck about that shit. Hey, man, you, you, you a respiratory therapist? Oh, you, you got... Uh, uh, experience get your ass in here 10k bro just to swipe my card just to motherfucking swipe my card nigga got 10k out the gate hell motherfucking yeah I was cheesing and I mean it was a little far but they paid for your trip there and if you needed to spend a night they paid for a hotel and then they paid for your trip back and on top of that like I say it was 10k a shift and I already had a job but at this time the, the, the job that I had, which was seeing patients, they wanted everybody to only call. So I was literally at home, like, call or at this hotel, calling patients, checking on them. You know what I'm saying? And still going to this hospital and working. So I was getting double checked, bro. And that's what I'm talking about. Like, you don't have to get a situation like that. But at the same time, that's what you need to be thinking about. Number one, and I think that that smart black nigga said it best. Find something that you'll do for free and make that your career. So, for instance, I don't know what you like. You say gaming, so I'm just in that thread. But I guarantee you, let's say it's like a, you know, you like gaming, you like designing games. Learn how to fucking code. They have free classes on Google that you can learn to do that shit for free. Matter of fact, MIT has online documents that come from every course they teach like online uh, transcript that they have that they teach in class. So you have that extra. Like I said, the internet with, with Google and the internet, it's a different place. You do not need to go to college. And a lot of these good paying jobs that let's say, for instance, what is that that I wanted to do at one time? Cybersecurity. You don't even need to go to school for that or you don't even need a degree for that you can go to Google and get their certifications and get an entry-level job because people will pay more for experience over education like I would take somebody who's experienced in this field over somebody oh he has all these decorations but he has no experience and that's something hard I had to find out when graduating you know as a respiratory therapist when it was hard for me to find a job or get like an entry-level job was because People want experience over certification. Even though I'm certified, registered, all that shit, they didn't care about that. Uh, but Google is going to be your friend. Whatever field you want, you can Google search that shit. And that's why I say find you something now. And if I was in your situation, I would do something in, in, in what do they call it, man? I would do something in tech. You feel me? Something along the lines where I can be anywhere and still work and regardless if you know a, a, a pandemic happened or a shakeup happened i would still be getting paid so that's that you say college and you don't know what you want to do first and foremost you're a kid bro you don't know shit the fact that you don't just proves you're a kid don't don't feel bad about that and i don't know your family situation your dad could be a dope fiend your mom could be a hoe but at the very bare minimum you have the internet you do because you gain so i'm saying understand what you like to do and try to make that your career at the very bare minimum i say getting a job that's essential that if a, if a pandemic happens yo you can be rooted and, and, and not be scared of what you would scared of losing your job. You feel what I'm saying? Be an essential worker. And that goes from like me in the medical field all the way down to you have people working at like Long John Silver's who are considered essential. And I hope you don't go that fucking low, but you get what I'm saying. 
it being an essential worker does not mean it has to be some major big job it could be something simple like you know you can work with your hands heating and air condition those are where uh, essential workers because you know air conditioners were breaking down so people needed to especially in texas because it was hot people needed motherfuckers they were essential workers at the time um but yeah bro you have your whole life ahead of you please 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 if anything take from this stay away from them fucking hoes uh i i, I would hate to say you know you know test the waters because even testing the waters can get you in trouble as far as getting getting a girl pregnant but do not get boggled down with no relationship with no bitch i cannot stress that enough please 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 stay away from them motherfucking hoes now if you gotta fuck them do that but fuck them and leave them bro do not sit up here and try to get in any fucking relationship or or any of that puppy love type shit because especially your first one you feel real territorial about your first piece of cooch because that that same thing fully went through and and we all go through that but that first one she's a hoe too bro i don't give a fuck if that girl is the pastor's daughter or or you know volunteers at, a, at an orphanage she's a hoe you feel me she's getting her feet wet just like you are and it's nothing worse than putting your eggs in that basket and losing it and i say that because as soon you are a nigga that has nothing as soon as that bitch finds a nigga with something she's going to leave you it, 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 it i hate to say it i hate to be blunt but facts are facts and rules are rules that bitch is going to always upgrade. And I hate for you to be on the receiving receiving end of an upgrade. So starting out, don't wife none of these bitches. Fuck them and leave them and keep it moving. And uh, yeah, man. If, if you need any, any I, I can send you like uh, links and shit. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully just get you started. If you were to say like, hey, this is, this is what I am interested in, like the field. And then hopefully I can get you started on something as far as your search on what you want to do. And understand, just because you choose one thing, don't mean you're going to switch up. Yeah, fully chose respiratory and he's been that his whole life, but doesn't mean that, oh, I chose to be uh, an engineer, but then I want to be a clerical worker later on. It doesn't matter, bro. Like you're young. Your life is going to be full of choices you're, and fuck-ups. You feel me? So, yeah, man, I hope I answered your question. Stay away from them bitches. And if anybody else needs any advice or anything, you can always write into the channel. My contacts are down at the bottom. Like this young homie, he just messaged me on Steam. I think we're, we're friends on Steam. Wherever you can get a hold of Fooly, if you send a message, I, nine times out of ten, if it's something that I want to talk about, I'll do a video on it and hopefully that I can, you know, help in whatever way as far as advice or what I think, man. So, rate, comment, subscribe. Shout out to this subscriber, man. Uh, down for the team since he was a, a young pup. Other than that, know that I'm running the game. You don't believe that? Suck my fucking wang. I'm out. Who are you signing the fuck out? Spread the word. I'm back breaking, bitch.